Hello and welcome. My name is Ben Jenkins, Director of Cybersecurity here at ThreatLocker. Today, we're going to be talking about the recent vulnerability in Microsoft Word called Felina. Felina came public on the 27th of May after a security researcher under the name of Nowsec released a Twitter post detailing the threat. It has also been speculated that this was reported to Microsoft in April. However, Microsoft initially classified it as, well, not a security risk. So, what does Felina do? Felina allows a threat actor to call executables and other files through the MS-MSDT URL protocol. The scary thing? This is all done through opening a simple Word document. .docx files are essentially zip containers with multiple files inside that contain details of formatting, styles, etc., along with the document contents. What we can do is unzip, edit those resource files, and then inside of the Word file, we can add an OLE object. It's essentially an embedded image, which is going to call to a specific web server with the payload in the edited document XML RELS file. From here, on the web server that it's being redirected to, you need the payload file. Now, this payload is going to take one very important step. It's going to call ms msdt. In this payload file, we can see a lot of the letter A repeated over and over and over again. Now, from testing, it seems that the payload needs to be over a specific size in order to execute. Highlighted on the screen is the command to actually call ms msdt, as well as our base64 code that calls PowerShell and then runs our malicious command. Once ms msdt has been called, you can specify for it to execute specific applications. In this case, we've actually chosen PowerShell. From executing PowerShell, it's a simple process of a PowerShell command to reach out to a specific web server hosting that malicious executable. Then it's downloaded and executed on the local machine. As you can actually see on the screen, the malicious executable we have here is our boo exe. It's essentially a test executable. However, this could obviously be something much, much worse. Now, how can you solve this problem? Microsoft have come out with recommendations to disable MSDT URL protocol, as well as ensure that users with Microsoft Defender antivirus should turn on cloud-delivered protection and automatic sample submission. They have also mentioned that customers using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint can enable a specific rule to block Office apps from creating child processes. Here at ThreatLocker, we recommend that all customers ensure that they have machines secured as quickly as possible. From initial internal testing, locking down your machines will stop unknown applications from running. However, we do also recommend ensuring that the default ring fencing policies are applied to your account. For example, the default ring fencing policy for PowerShell blocks access to the internet apart from specific IPs that you've chosen. This is a huge step towards stopping PowerShell being weaponized, as shown earlier in this video. As we learn more about this vulnerability, we will endeavor to keep you up to date. If you would like help ensuring that your environment is secure, please feel free to reach out to one of our cyber heroes today. Thank you.